Some of the martyred souls of the February 28 incident are now introduced. On the left are judiciary professionals. During the February 28 incident, many elite leaders in the judiciary system were killed. They were receptive to modern ideological trends and were deeply instilled with democratic and human rights values. Not only did they demand judicial independence, they also brought the heads of corruption to justice. After the incident, they were secretly arrested and assassinated by the Chen Yi government. On the right are civil representatives. During the incident, the call for democracy resonated across time. The first Taiwanese civil representatives after the war played a key role. They had a deep understanding for the reasons behind the deterioration of politics. They advocated for direct elections of county and city mayors and the use of Taiwanese people in order to change the governance structure. They became the people that suffered the most during the incident. You can see the undergarment belonging to Jai City Senator Chen Chenpo, which was punctured by a bullet as well as a picture of Constitutional National Assemblyman Lin Lianzong in front of the National Assembly. Next are the medical professionals. Taiwanese medical professionals have played a leadership role in society since the Japanese era. During the incident, whether it was proposing political reform or negotiating local conflicts, or even standing up against the corrupt regime, there was always the participation of doctors. They became victims of the crackdown and blackmail after the incident. In the display case is the medical equipment that Constitutional National Assemblyman Zhang Qilang's son, Zhang Zhongzhen, brought back from Manchu Guo. After the war, his father told him to come back to Taiwan and share the joy of being governed by our own people. Unexpectedly, after they rejoiced and welcomed the motherland, the three of them, father and sons, were executed during the February 28 incident. On the left are the media professionals. The corruption of the Chen Yi government was deeply disappointing to the people. The people's desire to govern was so strong and their critical words were becoming increasingly intense by the day. After the incident, the People's Daily and 11 other newspaper agencies were closed down. People in the media were arrested and killed across the board from north to south. You can see that Ming Bao's publisher, Lin Maoshen, People's Daily's publisher, Song Fei Ru, and Taiwan Xinshen Daily News's general manager, Ran Zhao Ri, who were people in charge of prominent newspapers at that time, were all killed. Next is the Provincial Political Development Association, formed by anti-Japanese groups such as the Taiwan People's Party. It was originally a group that planned the political direction for the party. However, it was suppressed by Chen Yi and became the most important political pressure group after the war. Most of its members participated in the Committee for the Settlement of February 28 incident and actively proposed plans for reform. After the incident, its members and members of the three principles of the People Youth Corps were eradicated by officials. You can see the English typewriter used by Taiwan's first financier Chen Xing, as well as the comics drawn by artist Zhang Yixiong for Liao Jingping during his speech.